using infinite campus for reports is quite easy because it lists all the different types that you need and very rarely will you use most of these we can just pinpoint exactly what you'll need for secondary schools attendance summary is important because it shows line by line for each student uh, what their attendance looks like and you can actually do this by student number so that they won't be able to tell theirs from another student's they can just pinpoint their student ID number go to their line and you show them which uh, absence and tardy actually counts against them so that's one way to show attendance summary for secondary especially towards the end of the semesters Blank spreadsheet is good for the first of the year uh, for marking attendance manually and keeping a record of it uh, because you get boxes and different sizes and number of boxes based on what you choose next to each student's name. So those are always good ones. Gradebook export is for when you want to show either that you backed up your grades or you need the backup to re-enter grades later on once, uh, you know, just in case something happens to your grade book and it gets deleted by a counselor on accident or something like that. Grades report, usually this will be something that you can use uh, for each student, but the easier one to use is going to be student summary. This is a more streamlined approach to having one page per student and one uh, place to go to show all grades and all assignments. You can use this for parent-teacher conferences. It's essentially what the students and parents see on Portal. So that's a really good place to go. Um, that's campus reports right there. That's most of what you need to know. If you have any other questions, ask your Infinite Campus coach.